Hello, I'm Deanna Springer, live at the Great Wisconsin Quilt Show with insights at the event. And I am joined by modern quilter Tamara Howard. Welcome, Tamara. Thank you. Welcome, Deanna. I appreciate being here. I love being here at the Great Wisconsin Quilt Show. It's my first time, and I'm just having a phenomenal time. It's great to meet you. Thank and you. And thank you for bringing your work, and you're also teaching lectures. I am. I'm teaching mm -hmm. a lecture called Kente Quilts. And um, it's uh, I'm a modern quilter, but really I'm rooted in tradition. Uh, traditional piecing and then tying in that modern element so it's been just so much fun tell us about the quilt behind us so this quilt is called Eclipse and it's a funny story um, I'm my family one of my family's genealogist and so we were going down to Cuthbert Georgia um, to do some research and I was passing all of these cotton fields and they had cotton decor everywhere in Georgia so when I got home I wanted to find some cotton that I could decorate my home with and I bought this beautiful wreath. And so I just was inspired to uh, create this quilt based on that wreath. And so that's what you see here. And initially I called it Cotton Wreath, but my sister renamed it Eclipse. And so this is all with patterns. Some of them are African, some of them are Australian um, uh, prints as well. And I use inset circles to um, create the uh, two inch diameters of the rings. Beautiful. It's just a, a remarkable work of art. Thank you. Thank you Thank for sharing you. it. And how did you get started quilting? So my great grandmother was a quilter and I heard a lot about her colorful stories and so that inspired me to become a quilter as well. But the second generation uh, wouldn't teach me. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't enjoy quilting. Um, they did it because they needed to because of necessity and mm -hmm. keeping warm. Mm -hmm. uh, they were more so into clothing and uh, being a seamstress and so I had to take take classes in Pismo Beach at the Cotton Ball, and I began quilting there. Terrific. <laughs> and if people want to learn more about you and your techniques and your quilts, where can we find you online? So I am on Instagram under Folk Quilts, F-O-L-K Quilts, and I'm right there and easy to find, and I post not uh, often, but often enough to keep you interested. That's beautiful content. Thank you for sharing <laughs> that information, how to contact you. Thank you. And thank you for joining me for this interview. I appreciate it. It's so it. great to meet you. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Mm -hmm. And thank you for tuning in for the Great Wisconsin Quilt Show Insights at the event. To learn more about this year's event and next year's Great Wisconsin Quilt Show, head over to quiltshow.com.